you're commonly, as in uh, ABC News this morning, uh, ID'd as a former UN weapons inspector. Uh, Scott Ritter wrote an article saying that that's inaccurate, that you are kind of an advisor or consultant. He said accidental tourist for a brief period in the uh, uh, mid-1990s and were never invited back. Do you maintain that you are a former UN weapons inspector? I uh, certainly do, and Scott Ritter is now in jail um, for sex crimes. And so I think you should be very careful about your facts. I certainly did work with the, it's called the IA Action Team, worked with them, with the head of it for several years. Ritter wrote some slanderous lies, hate to put it that way, about me. He had to take many of them back. He didn't have a clue what he was talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what I did is very transparent. It can be learned on their website, and I'm surprised you didn't read it. You maintain that you actually did inspections in Iraq? That's right. Uh -huh. And worked, and more important, what I did is I assessed all kinds of documents, declarations, and interviews. I was one of the only people, not the only person, to go through thousands of pages of seized Iraqi documents in the early and mid 90s about their, their Calutron program. Uh -huh. And um, so I think that what you're raising is just more kind of nonsense that Ritter's perpetuated. And here's a guy who molested teenage girls, convicted of that, sentenced to, what is it, five years in jail, and you're using him as your source? Aren't you, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm asking you a question. No, it's you're not. a factual not. question. You no, know, you're not asking did, a question. Did, you're, did, perpe you're perpetuating lies by Scott Ritter. Did, did you do any checking on uh, Demi Lenko's biography before passing on the allegation from an unnamed state that he was a, quote, former Soviet nuclear scientist? Yes, of course and, I know. Of course we did. And uh -huh. I know his work what did pretty you find? well. Well, I found that he was a member of the Soviet nuclear weapons complex at Chelyabin 70, and that we knew he went into producing nano diamonds. He worked in the early 60s in, that pro, in the nuclear weapons program, and he has an incredible amount of information about how you build a nuclear weapon and more than one state. In fact, the IAEA has said that they think he's part or he contributed to Iran's effort to build a nuclear explosive device, in particular a multi to diagnose a multi-point initiation system. So you're saying that you knew prior to identifying him as a Soviet nuclear scientist that he was actually a nano, um, uh, uh, a nano diamond expert? He is also a nano-diamond, but he has tremendous amount of knowledge about building nuclear weapons. He, and that, that's, he's an ex-nuclear weapons expert who went and worked in Iran. Um, of course, he does other things. Mm -hmm. um, don't you think people should I hope be... He, and he left the business of nuclear weapons in about 1990. Now, the issue with him is, is that he was recruited and signed a contract with the head of the Physics Research Center, which was running the secret sector secret nuclear sector for Iran. Yeah. Um, in terms of credibility and so on, uh, you made a number of allegations around Iraq in 2002, 2003. For example, quote, in terms of chemical and biological uh, uh, weapons, Iraq ha has them now. Uh, that was in October 2002. Shouldn't you be scrutinized for your record, sir? I have been. Uh -huh. I have been. But we were the lead group to point out that the aluminum tubes probably are not for centrifuges. At a time when no one else was willing to do it, including your colleagues, were not willing to stand up and say, look, what the Bush administration is saying about the nuclear program is not correct. And we are nuclear experts. I've certainly been criticized for making comments on biological and chemical, but I've also made it clear two things. One is we were critical later on. I stood up to Lou Dobbs on chemical weapons on CNN. Um, I also, by the time of this war, we felt that the chemical and biological weapons case was extremely weak. But more importantly, we're a nuclear expert. We're nuclear experts, and that's where we put, that's where we put our effort. And you won't find any other group that was willing to do as much as we did to challenge the Bush administration in September and October when it counted. There were many who came forth later 
but it didn't count nearly as much then. What, what and I saying, find it. What you're saying is it, inaccurate, sir. Uh, Scott Ritter was saying that Iraq was qualitatively disarmed in, during that period. You were making allegations during that period, including about the nuclear weapons. Well, Scott Ritter. So Scott Ritter was seen as working thing. for Iraq. What, Scott Ritter had no personal life. Scott Ritter had no credibility. Whatever his personal also, life is. Scott Ritter had no credibility. Scott, Scott Ritter in 1998 said Iran had all the components for three nuclear weapons. Okay. I'm, I'm Except talking the about this I don't care. Period. You're going to listen. Scott Ritter said in 1998 he had all he testified in Congress all the web components for three nuclear weapons minus the fissile material. We opposed that because we thought it was nonsense. Scott Ritter had a conversion, but his analysis was poor in the 90s on nuclear. His analysis was empty in the early 2000s. If you look at the content, we suspect that perhaps he even was paid, got money from the Iraqi government. To tell so, what turned out to be the truth. Well, it, the, it, unlike what you said. Well, it, well, it was unlike what, what you we said, said in 2002. was the truth. No, that's not well, true. If you look at the record in 2002, well, you were making allegations, including about. Ask, tell me what I said about the aluminum tubes. No, I'm not talking about aluminum tubes. Well, I'm that's, about general, that's our general Iraq talk allegations. About, no, talk nuclear. about what we knew about nuclear. And I gave you the allegation in terms of. Talk to me about what we knew what, about what, nuclear. What, what, I, what I want to ask I'm you sorry. right now. You no, know, talk to me about what we knew about nuclear. We're a nuclear group. That's right. So that's I could have right. made a mistake on chemical and biological, but it's we're a nuclear group. And that's where we were. You know that, the, are you claiming that you didn't make any allegations, uh, positive allegations I'm in terms of you, nuclear I'm weapons I'm saying you're distorting my record, no, and I'm, you're not I'm giving saying, me a chance to I'm saying that I've say, read statements in that yeah. regard. I want to ask you this. Um, looking at your, your record and your, and your web page, uh, you've done a minimal amount of work on Israel. I believe three items in the last decade. In contrast, in the last year, there are 36 reports uh, on Iran. So, so if you don't have a bomb, uh, have signed the NPT, and grant IAEA access to your facilities, you get targeted by ISIS. Well, IS. What you're saying but, is but, simply but not if true. you have an undeclared nuclear arsenal, won't sign the NPT, and won't allow inspectors, uh, you get a pass. Is that, is that what you do? Uh, what you're saying is simply untrue. Uh -huh. We've looked at Israel's program, I've looked at it for 30 years. What's Estimated your estimate? 30, about, well, our estimate's 100, well, it depends on the year. But the most recent that we haven't published yet, but we've done, is that they have enough for well over 100 nuclear weapons. So I think it, you're, what you're saying is just wrong, and again reflects a I'm, highly I counting your incomplete, wrong? biased. Am I counting bi your reports wrong? You, you haven't done it's 36 reports? It's irrelevant to the number of reports. Oh, I it's, see. it's irrelevant. And in fact, it, it's, in fact, tell me, why does it matter? How many reports we've written, if we write about the Israeli nuclear weapons program, I mean, why do we have to, and if it doesn't change much, why would you think we would write? Iran is a very different situation. Are, 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 you, are you aware that the United States government will not acknowledge that Israel has a nuclear weapons arsenal? Well, they, they certainly do indirectly, so, but what does that have but to do with me? Barack Obama was asked directly about this, and he said he didn't want to speculate yeah. at his first news conference. Well, we think are you aware of that or not? We, we think Israel Are you aware has, of that stance? We think Israel has a nuclear weapon. Are you aware of that stance by the U.S. government We are aware that Iran has so a nuclear weapon. So you don't weapon. care what the stance of the U.S. government I, is? Well, we challenge it. Oh, how do you challenge it? We say Israel has nuclear weapons. We think that and, Israel... And, you, uh, and again, if you look at our website... in the last decade. And, and if you look at our website, you'd also find that we've worked very actively for a fissile material cutoff treaty in the Middle East and have engaged with the Israelis, the Egyptians, on getting a fissile material cutoff to stop the put production of plutonium and highly enriched uranium for nuclear weapons. But again, you don't look at the record. You come up with these biased accusations that you read in the media. You don't even do your own research. It's clear. You don't know what's on our website. You parrot a bunch of garbage from people. So, so, then, so, so you didn't do 36 reports, and you did more than three items on, your, on well, Israel. Well, certainly have done more if you look at the I stuff mean, you, you did. I mean, you vilify with these accusations, but you haven't actually taken issue with any statement that I've actually made. Of course Did you I or did. did you not you do 36 lied. reports you, you on Iran in the last year what you're and barely anything on Israel? It's completely inaccurate. That, uh, it's completely what, what inaccurate. What part is inaccurate, Well, that, that somehow that we downplay Israel's nuclear weapons program. We That's, don't at all. So, so you've done more than three... Well, what, when was the last report you did on Israel's nuclear weapons? Well, one is on how much plutonium they have when? for nuclear weapons, which will be when? published soon. We It'll did be it for published the, soon. We did it for the United States Institute It'll of Peace. It'll, It'll be, be published, published in their book. Great. We'll look forward to it. Have a yeah. good day. Boy.